Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're back from Vegas. We're going into the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store, my favorite thrift store in Florida. Looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So make sure you hit that notification bell, click all, so you don't miss out on my live buy now's auctions and giveaways on my channel, as well as these video uploads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget that thumbs up. Thumbs up for the video. If you're ever in the Tampa area, there's two locations. It's cash only, and you do want to take my advice and go in here and look around. It's the best thrift store I think we have. They're cash only. They do not take, they do have an ATM, but they don't take anything else. So we're going to hope for purses. Usually they've got a lot. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Tenyanello, so it's pretty much empty. They're going to have lots of purses on the wall. Lots of purses on the wall. And this one's Talbot's Coach 9 West, not in the greatest condition. And another Talbot's. I also look at the home decor stuff while I'm here because things like these come in handy if you're putting things on a shelf and you need something to hold a picture. And I like the way that looks and I like that it's a dollar ninety-nine. So even though I buy purses and jewelry, I like to look at the home decor. I really love this panel right here. Look at this, y'all. That is beautiful. This is a little bit pricey, but I think I'm gonna pack it up because it has abalone shell. That is a gorgeous panel. Probably about two, probably about a foot and a half, two feet long, about a foot tall. Look how gorgeous that is. That's really nice. We're going to pack that up. So I will buy the home decor stuff. And y'all know that I like anything that you can put jewelry in. So look at this right here. A woman or man could use this. Got your fleur de lis. Look at that right there. Black and red. And on the back it says made in Italy genuine leather. So we're going to get that because it does have something to do with jewelry. And I love it. So you will see that on a future sale. So I do love to look for anything jewelry related if we can find it. Because you just never know. Little trinkety things. Jewelry boxes. I found some pretty cool jewelry boxes in here. But the sad thing is, I say sad thing is, I usually like to keep them for myself. Look how pretty those are. Not seeing a lot of purses in here so far as far as the ones on top of the counter. Ten dollars. Those are gorgeous right there. And now we have more of these cute wood posts. You know what would be great? Is if you put these in the corner, say on a corner wall in your house. Now that's going to be different. The 90 degree corner. Hang those all up on a corner wall going from the very top to the bottom and then put plates or something on those. That's what I think I'm gonna do with those. And they're $1.99, so that's something different home decor wise. So I think someone got rid of lots of these, and I love them that they're old wood. It's a different look to them. I'm gonna get all five of those, or six. Like I need them. Like any of us need anything, right? But we're gonna get those. But I love that idea that I'm going to use them for because I just now came up with that. We can put a little holder right here on the back and hang it up. Here's a couple more, too. Had somebody comment on a video the other day saying, Why do you keep repeating everything, repeating everything, repeating everything, repeating everything? We'll get ready. Because on most videos, if you're watching, I will repeat everything. Maybe two or three times because it's just fun to do it. So, yeah, you always have to have somebody that comes out with something. But yeah, you may hear me repeat things, and it's a lot of fun for me to do it. So I love repeating things. We'll look at this Halloween basket right here. Really, that time? What is this? It's a different kind of decor. That is super interesting home decor. I like that a lot. I go great with some old pictures. What is this? That's what I thought it said too. 
Sounds better than yoga. Well, there's just stuff everywhere. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Look at this old cane, y'all. Very nice, $24. Incense burner for $2.99. They always have the best little trinkety items. Look at that. If you're using any Barbie dolls for Halloween, they have tons of them here. Let's look over here in this section. I still look at all this stuff like this. Look at that. Liquid soap. $3.99, why not buy it here instead of buying it new if you can. Sometimes they have wallet, wallets and bags down there. Cool piece right here, love that. It doesn't look like it's a real fork time. It is, it's not an expensive fork time, but I love that piece, it's cool. This one doesn't have this most super fancy chain, silver tone, but look at those beads. strand. Are these copper? These might be copper beads. I've never seen anything like that before. It's made in Korea. I just wonder what this would look like polished up. Not sure if I should get those or not. Have I seen that one before? I don't remember. Lots of phone cases. Usually they have more wallets here. Just got back from Vegas from the resellers conference, which was a lot of fun. Plan to go that every year. Met a lot of good people. And Klein. So if you are a reseller and you watch this, I would say go to that resellers conference. This is Perlina. Perlina is usually a good brand, but that right there is not in good condition at all. Here's a beautiful red coach, I thought, but it's not. What is this? Can of coal. And the infamous eel skin, always a beautiful bag. A little bit of leopard going on right there. I ordered me some new red shoes, just so y'all know. So when I say I'm out and about, look for the guy with the basket full of purses and probably the bright red shoes. Speaking into his phone. And don't forget, repeating things over and over, which is so much fun. Love it. Kate Spade. What is this one? Have y'all ever heard of this wallet before? Look at this. Look at the inside. Bright red leather. It's called Tusk. Never heard of that brand before. Let's see if there's anything else down here we can't live without. Look at that. Ain't that cute. Room Essentials. I think I'm gonna pass after all in those two necklaces I showed you just because I don't want to get those. Look at that copper bracelet. Oh wow, a couple. These are super unusual right there. Kind of like that one too. Love to get the unusual copper bracelets. That's a good one. I like the way that looks. 
wait for this next one though. Shaking like a tree in the red, white, and blue. And here's the other one. This is really pretty. A bit of enameling right there. Let's see if it says anything on the inside. It does not, but it says go home with me. One of the strangest bracelets I've ever seen. Look at this one, y'all. Pink. Super large too. Never seen that before, but I think we're gonna get it. Love these. Made out of wood. Let me get those. Good condition. Don't buy keychains that often. That's a good one. Not sure of the branding on it. I love these. I'm gonna get those. I am loving all of these earrings, y'all. And I love these, and we're gonna get these. They're beautiful, and I love these too. These nearly remind you of sterling silver, but they're not. I love those too. Pretty bracelet, but super small. So look at the backs of these. I'm not sure there's a maker's mark, designer mark on it. I don't think so, but look at the front of these. These are really pretty. So we're going to get those too. I love those. And y'all know I'm not going to pass up my real snake skin, so this is not just leather. This is real snake skin bangle bracelet. Y'all know we do not leave those behind. Charlie would not be happy with that at all. So we're going to pack that one up. It's got some good use to it like that worn look, pre-loved. These are different. Pretty hard glass, pierced earring. Another beautiful set, these are made of wood. They're probably about two inches diameter, two and a half. For some reason these are throwing a Tory Burch uh, vibe to me. Throwing a little bit of a Tory Burch vibe, gold, tone, and silver, I think we're gonna get those. The scarcity of purses, but you got this MCM. I don't know if that's going to be a real Gucci or not. Coach. Not sure what the purple one is. Coach. Maybe a Chanel. Got you a beautiful Brahmin right here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love it. I think we're going to get that one. So in here you're going to have this real gold. I'm going to try to show you a few of them so you can get an idea. It's amazing to me what people will give away. You just never know. Wow, that's a pretty amethyst, isn't it? Seed pearls. Little lapis there. Maybe Moonstone. Wow, look at that one. So these are all gold. Gold, gold, and gold. Look at that ruby right there. Is that a man's ring? Maybe. And you've got all of these gold bracelets. And a bridling watch. You can't really see it right there, but that's what that is. Very fancy. And maybe that's gold or gold filled, not sure. I wonder if that is gold. Let's see if we can zoom in and see the maker on this one. Ben Russ. I would like to take a look at that to see if that's gold or not, or if it's gold filled. Now your sterling silver rings. Uh, did y'all love that Brahmin purse? I am getting it for sure. I love it. It's purple. Pinkish purple. We grounded a few of these and they head back to the purse. Those are pretty. Look at that abalone. Right there. This right here is abalone. I wonder if those are real pearl. Now that is a beautiful necklace right there. 
Have you ever seen anything so pretty? Probably real pearls. Look at that beautiful brooch, wow. Is that a cloisonne ring or what? What would y'all call that right there? Comment below and let me know. Um, it's not cloisonne though, but I'm not sure what that is. It is a ring, just not sure what you'd call that. Another beautiful abalone shell on a thin sterling necklace. Michael Kors watches, Caravel, what is that? Noah's Ark watch. That is pretty also, love that. Lucinda pin, JJ brooch on it. seen a swatch ring. All sterling. I like this. Torque. It's a little one, but cute. And Brighton ring. Looks like it's sterling silver. Very pretty. It is sterling. I think when I turn my back, they put more stuff out because these earrings were not hanging up over there, but we're going to get those. I love those a lot. Don't know if they're sterling, but I'll test them. And what is this? Y'all know I love the leather cowhide stuff. What is this one right here? This is great. So you got the gray and the black. Feels like leather. Definitely a nice leather handbag. Let's see who the maker is. Okay, that's the first for me. Uh, made in Spain. I'm gonna get this one. Don't know that brand, but I love it. It's all leather. So we're gonna pack that one up. Packing this one up for sure, y'all. Look at this, how pretty that is. Good condition, little cute bag. So we're gonna look at the purses on the wall. We're gonna hit the what naughty do daddy stuff first. Coffee station, that would be good. But we gotta walk through here and just see if there's anything we can't live without. Some beautiful red coasters made in Japan. Tempting, but I think I'm gonna pass. I do love my coasters, red coasters, and I also love my red high heels. Look at this one, y'all. Love my red high heels. They're so much fun to wear. And are these really snakeskin? Because they feel like it. What do y'all know about these? I've never sold high heels before put my mannequins in these but these feel like real snakeskin y'all are they or not would these sell they appear to be in good condition they appear to be in good condition we're gonna, I don't know if we'll get those or not I might. If they fit me, I might just wear them. What do we got over here? When you see art, you have to say, I do not need more. How about no crabs? No. Let's see what they've got over here. Let's see this picture here. I don't know if this is painted or not. Wow, this is going to be so cool. I can already tell you. I'm hoping. Let's move some stuff out of the way so we can get to this little masterpiece back here. I'm going to get to this masterpiece. Don't act like I'm the only one that doesn't buy a lot of stuff. Y'all know you do too. You're looking at me acting like I'm the only one. Now, what is this? One of the most unusual paintings I've ever seen. So yeah, we look at a little bit of everything on this channel. Love my red, white, and blue. Do y'all think this is gonna go home with CJ or not? Comment below. Let me know if y'all think this is gonna go home with me. Look at this, it has a clock right there. So who's holding the clock? Is it the fish? 
doesn't have an artist signature on it. So y'all let me know in the comments below if you think that went home with me. Well, spoiler alert it is. It's too big to hide from you in the basket, so it is going home with me. What is this? $29.99. Half off, beautiful artwork, and here's another one. Well, this one's 69. Sure, why that's 69, the other one is not. There's any trinket boxes, coasters. Is that a jewelry box? A pink Barbie jewelry box. Trinkets. Ooh. Christmas ornament, Texas. I'm telling you, if you just dig through the art, you're gonna find a lot of stuff. No point in buying new. Let's see how spoiler alert I am getting that picture. What is this one? United States Air Force. 69. See how that was just. Not, not that it was, that's just too cool of a picture not to get, so we've got to get that one. Ten dollars. A whole ten. Oh, these are one of those, you cook them and make it like a dough thing, right? Made out of dough. Always remember to look up too. There's been a lot of things I've missed. Not looking up like this outhouse, five dollars. Cool folk art. What else we got down here? She's just having a beer. Having a beer. What's up, Tom? <laughs> Love that painting so much. You remember him from last week. Old iron, very heavy. <laughs> Nothing's in here. I don't normally sell paintings, but I'm gonna put this one up for sale, y'all, and look at this. It's gotta be the greatest thing ever like 1970s felt art look at the beautiful look at how pretty that is it's about a foot tall i think it's awesome so it's called kingfish by jared davis don't know anything about him but we'll try to learn more at some point but look how great that is so i am gonna get that one Look carefully and see if there's anything we can't live without. Y'all know I do pick up the whatnots, doodads, and trinkets also for resale. He's a cute rap. Left in China. Look at this old trinket box. So we're gonna get this one too, y'all. You can't have jewelry without trinket boxes. Y'all know y'all need some of those. That's really nice. Here's the inside. And I know a few people that could use this box, including myself. 
Put money in here every time. Pretty penny bank for your naughty word usage. This. It's not an old clock. I thought it was there for a minute. Programmer's clock. Huh. Seriously, though, going back to this painting, if y'all seen this before, let me know who it is. It's just cool to me to see the fish dangling the clock. Okay, we're about to go hit the purses on the wall. Then we're going to go to the next red, white, and blue. This little trinket. This is cute. All brass, copper. You really got to look at these pictures closely because there could be anything great in here. Is that considered stained glass? Well, beautiful hummingbird feeder right there. I don't know if we get hummingbirds or not. A little bit of Christmas and Halloween stash all in the same place. Can't believe it's only two months away. That's a pretty tooled leather purse right there. Look at that. Burgundy color. Beautiful burgundy color on that. All floral. Vera Bradley solid. I don't ever pack her up, but this one is tempting. Very tempting because it's solid. And good condition. It's not your regular run of the mill that we see so much of. Very nice J. Crew crossbody bag. Kind of tell the fake leather from the real after a while. If you've been doing it for a while, if you've been looking around for a while, there's Claiborne. Joy, joy. Make you think it's a Dooney, but it's not. And let's see about this one. It's got a lot of stitching issues. Is this leather? I think this is. So look at this bag here, y'all. Have you ever heard of this before? This is a first for me. Genuine leather. The inside looks to be good condition. Three main compartments. Key fob. Beautiful. And can be a crossbody or a handbag. Look at that. The tassel zippers. Look at that leather, though. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Here's the back of it. So no rubs whatsoever. Silver tone. I think we're going to get it. I think we're gonna get it. That one was Morona. We don't do no Moronas. Morona is a Target brand. Nothing wrong with Target, but I'm not buying Morona at all. So let me see what brand this is. Look at this, y'all. Kenneth Cole is a great brand, I think. This is Kenneth Cole, New York. Love the faux. Snake skins, so it's black, pebbled, good condition on the inside. Faux snake skin, front and back. I don't ever see Kenneth Cole purses. Here's the handle. But I don't think we have any choice but to pack this one up. We gotta pack that one up. We're taking that home. Leather, leather, and more leather. Bring me the leather handbags, please. Okay, another new one for me. Never heard of that one before. Not sure if it's all leather or not. Ooh. Now, we've talked about this one before, y'all. And y'all told me that this is a good brand, right? That it's probably pretty expensive. Let's check out the condition of it. The handles look really good. Again, here's the brand on this. Inside's good condition. Be 
carry a laptop, but it's PVC, so y'all tell me should we get it or not. I don't know. I'm gonna have to carry that around and think about it. I'm gonna think about it a lot. Joy Iman. Well, look at you, beautiful. Where have you been all my life? Hanging out at the red, white, and blue, waiting on you to take me home. Well, you may be, this may be your lucky day. Maybe your lucky day. So look at this, y'all. See a little bit of the scroll work on here, kind of. What? Embossed? It's like a greenish black. And it's St. John's Bay. So while it's pretty, it's staying at the red, white, and blue. So it is not your lucky day. You have got to stay here. DKNY. Feels like leather here. Michael Kors. Look at you, girl, please. Hmm. It's very dirty on the inside, so we're gonna pass on it for that reason. It's this little auction is next week. If y'all are at the auction next week, I will be dressed up in costume. They're having a costume contest at Scooter's Auction, Largo, Florida. Come on out to that. A Madden backpack. What's this beauty right here? That is not Gucci, y'all. So don't be telling me in the comments later I missed a Gucci. I did not miss a Gucci. But I don't know what this one is. I'm not sure. I don't want to miss this one. Look at this. I love the hardware on it. Good color. Zipper. It's okay color. I wonder if this is leather and wonder if it's a brand. A designer brand. Cynthia Rowley is what this one is. I think I'm going to pass on it. Ooh, what's it? Ann Klein. Pretty Fleur de Lis, no name on it. Old Dooney, but not clean. Oh, there she is. A chameleon this time. Rosetti showed up as a chameleon. No, this is not Rosetti. I know that I'm talking about this one over here. Look at this. Showed up as a butterfly. But she stings like a bee. She shows up as a butterfly, but stings like a bee. Rosetti, why do you have to do that double crane? That might be a brand. You got Dickies. Kenneth Cole reaction. Love my leather briefcases if I can find them. Like Coach. It's one of my favorite briefcases. Sure is. Found a Consuelo over here just a few weeks ago. I'll upload this today after this. We're going to have a, um, oh, this is, oh, wow, this is fossil. We'll go with the other red, white, and blue. I need to have a sale tonight or tomorrow or both. This video will go out on Saturday. I do have some more um, Vegas videos to post next week because I got quite a few of them. But I'm really liking this fossil crossbody, so I think we're going to take that home. I think we're going to take it home. It's clean on the inside, clean on the out. Doesn't look like there's many rubs, if any, maybe on the corner but it looks vintage. So we'll see. I do need to have a sale though. I just don't know if I have one tonight also. Cute Urban Outfitters faux snake purse. What else we got hiding in here? How'd y'all like that leg video from Vegas? I'm telling you, I've got legs for days, ladies. Legs for days. What is this? Rome, New York, Paris, Paige, Danielle. Is this fancy? I don't know. I don't think so because it feels awful cheap on the inside, so we're passing on that one. Grace Adele. Know nothing about that. I thought at first it said Paige Pickle. I don't know why, but I thought it said Paige Pickle. I think my eyes are just starting to deceive me. So many purses. Union Bay. And here she goes again. Chameleon, I told you, that's what she is. She likes to play games by hiding on the shelves. And I don't very much appreciate that. Now, I've heard of Go Jump in the Lake, but I've never 
I don't think I've ever told somebody to go jump in the leaves, but I guess you could do that too. Aren't these cute, y'all? Look at that, $2.99 each. I nearly have a good mind to take those to the Airbnb, but there's already enough wine glasses out there. But these are too adorable. Let me show you right here, look at this. Probably have to hand wash these a dollar ninety-nine. Looks like they're hand painted, maybe a sticker also. Ooh, I never did pay attention to the line koozies. Why would I buy them if you can get them here for two ninety-nine? This is a great one too. All clean. Well, look at that one. Look at that one right there. Tie dyed. Yeah, I need a larger one, kind of like that. Those are nice. Ooh, I like this one, y'all. Look at this. Now, that one's going home with CJ for sure. Love it. I have found all kinds of goodies in here. Oh, oh yeah. Bam. Let's see what they've got over here. Some more koozies. I say they're koozies. I don't know, but look at this. Oh, that's all stickered up. Hmm. Well, never thought about looking here. Guess what? We're going to start. Bubba. Now this is a great mug. All the female Supreme Court justices right there. Cute trinket box just to girl and her dog. These are broken, but I wonder if they're not. They're silver plate. Let's see if they're sterling, but they're not sterling. Okay, I think we're getting out of here, y'all. It is time to go to the next store. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell and click all. Oh wow, look at this, that is so freaking cool. Make sure you hit that notifi notification bell, click all, so you don't miss it on my live buy it now as an auction. Thumbs up for this video, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, I don't need this, but wouldn't that be great at the Airbnb? A fishing mug. So I guess I'll be seeing y'all later. It's not cool to open an umbrella inside, but I'm very curious to see what this coach umbrella looks like. Do you think everybody would start screaming if I open this up? I don't know. How many of you out there sell coffee mugs? This is a Starbucks coffee mug. I like to look at them to buy them to you, but I don't normally buy them to resell y'all, but the witch is in. And that is a cute mug right there. So until next video, happy October. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Thanks for watching.